Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study fractions. And how do we get fractions? We get fractions when we have something that's a one whole thing and that's divided into so many equal parts. For example, I have some shapes here. It's a circle that's divided into two equal parts, right? And so each part is one half. If I have a square here that's divided into four equal parts, then each part is one fourth. We could take maybe two of those parts, we could take two fourths of it. Or this rectangle, it is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal parts. So each part is one seventh. And maybe I would take three of them and then I have three sevenths. Here I was talking about the one half. It's written like this. And that is because we have two parts in total. It is divided into two equal parts and a colored one. And here, two fourths, like that. There are two parts that are colored and four in total. It was divided into four equal parts. And then three sevenths, like that. In any fraction, when we write it like this, this is four sixths. This four tells us how many parts we're actually looking at, how many parts we have. And then six tells us how many parts is the whole divided into, how many equal parts. This circle is divided into six equal parts and I colored four. Okay, so this is four sixths. And we can do some coloring. Okay, Matthew, are you ready? Do you like coloring too? Sure. Here's the fraction. What fraction is it? Two thirds. Okay. The circle is divided into three parts, three equal parts. And then we're going to color how many? Two parts. Okay, Matthew. Nice job, two thirds. What fraction is this one? This shape is divided into ten parts. Each part is a tenth. We have three tenths. So I color three. And then what fraction is this? You remember when I was talking about the one half? Here we have two halves. Two halves. So to color, I need to color both. In fact, this is equal to, this is the same as one whole. Now, our task is to name these two fractions. Can you name this fraction? There are six parts, six equal parts, one colored, so one sixth. And here, two colored, five in total, two fifths. Over here, me and Matthew want to show you how to draw pie images or pie pictures for fractions, okay? One half. Well, that's pretty easy. You have your pie, divide it in half with a straight line, right? One third. That's a little bit trickier. So first you have to imagine where the center point is and draw a straight line down. Then think of it as a clock face, okay? Clock would have number 12 here, right? And then you have one, two, three o'clock right here, six o'clock down here, and then three, four, five, six, wherever four o'clock is, draw a line towards four o'clock. And six is here, seven, eight, and nine is right there, eight somewhere here. Draw another line towards eight o'clock, okay? So eight o'clock and four o'clock. And you get thirds, and then you can color one third. Okay, Matthew, your turn. For the next one, we need fourths. Fourths are pretty easy. You just draw a cross inside. Four fourths means I color every one of them. This is again one whole pie, so this is equal to one. Fifths. Again, draw a center point here and a line down. And then you draw like a figure doing jumping jacks, kind of like the legs are spread apart and arms are kind of up, okay? 
So these are the arms and then the legs like that. Then we color three, three fifths. For sixth, first divide it in half and then we go kind of like X over here, okay? Try to go through the center point like that. And color two. Last one, I'll let Matthew do. We have to draw eighths. All right, did you see how he did it? First do fourths, this one here, the cross, and then do the X, you know, split each piece. Oh, well, after you can color too. Lots of coloring, seven pieces. Nice and green. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.